Hey guys, I miss you, and I hope all of you are doing well. I would love to be in the classroom with you, but as you know, right now that's not possible. So we're going to be bringing you some lessons from home. So the standard we're going to be working on today is context clues. Now you know before we left school, we worked a lot on context clues because I've told you over and over, context clues are extremely important when we're reading. If you're reading a text and you get to a word you don't understand, we've talked about how you don't just skip it or just move on. You say, okay, I can use my context clues and figure it out. So today we're going to get a refresher course and how we can do that and we know the meaning of all the words and we don't have to guess on them or skip them. So we're going to be looking at the word today, affable. So most of you might not know what affable means, but you will after today because we're going to figure out how to understand what affable means by using our context clues. So the first way we're going to look at that is by definition. And we know that, we talked a little bit about it before, if we use definition to figure out context clues, the author just gives it to you, free. Not much in life is free, but if you use definition, if the author does in the text for context clues, they're just giving you the answer. So our first sentence is, Mr. Slagle is an affable principal. He is easy to talk to and friendly. So we are talking about Mr. Slagle. He's an affable principal. And then the second sentence is, he is easy to talk to and friendly. Well, it just comes out and tells us he's easy to talk to and friendly. So that gives us the definition of affable. Okay, so the next one we're going to work on is synonym. We're going to look at synonym. Hopefully you remembered what we went over. Synonym is the same or similar. So when we look at this sentence, Mr. Slagle is an affable. Mr. Slagle is affable. Sorry, I read that wrong. Mr. Slagle is affable. In fact, he reminds me of Miss Woody. You know how kind she is? So there we're looking at two things that are similar or the same. I said that Mr. Slagle was affable. And then I come down and I use the words, in fact, he reminds me of Miss Woody. You know how kind she is. So when I'm saying that he reminds me of Miss Woody, and I've already told you that Miss Woody is kind, we know that affable means the same or similar as kind. So that's when the author is using synonyms to help you figure out what the word means. Now we move on down, we look at the next one, and I hope we remember this one too. Antonym. Antonym means the opposite. So sometimes authors will use text using opposite of what the word means. So if we're looking at antonyms, we're going to look at the next sentence that says, I miss Miss Woody. Our new teacher is grouchy and hard to talk to. Miss Woody is so affable. So there we're saying Miss Woody is affable. And the new teacher, probably Miss Freeman, is grouchy and hard to talk to. So we know that we've already said we miss Miss Woody. So we know we like her. We wouldn't miss her if we didn't like her. So we miss Miss Woody. Our new teacher is grouchy and hard to talk to. And Miss Woody is affable. So she's the opposite of grouchy and hard to talk to. So the opposite of grouchy would be kind or nice. And the opposite of hard to talk to would be easy to talk to. So that is how we would use antonym. Now, the next is just an example. So the author might give you an example of what the word means. So looking at our next sentence, Mr. Slagle is an affable principal. He knows our names. If you have a problem, just talk to him. So there it just gave us an example. It says, Mr. Slagle is an affable principal. He knows our names. If you have a problem, just talk to him. So he's an affable principal, he knows everyone's names. If you have a problem, just talk to him. So does it sound like he's mean or he's kind? Or if you got a problem, you talk to him? Sounds like a kind person, right? He knows everybody's name, so that would make him a nice person or a person that gets to know you. So that just gives us an example. Now the next one is one that you guys struggle a little bit with and we've talked about, is inferencing, having to use our I hope you guys all said it because you say it in the classroom. We use our brains. So with inference to find out the word affable, you don't, if we're going to use the sentence, 
You don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Slagle. He is an affable principal. Now, it doesn't come out and give us any synonyms, anonyms, definitions, or examples. It just says, you don't need to worry about talking to Mr. Slagle. He is an affable principal. Well, if I said, you don't need to worry about going to the office, Miss Glenn is very affable. Well, by saying that, we know if I say you don't have to worry, that means that she's going to be nice to you. She's going to be kind. I could say, you know, you better not go to that office. Miss Glenn's not very affable. If I said that, you would know it meant she wasn't kind. But of course, we know she is. So I would say, don't worry about going to the office to see Mr. Slagle or Mrs. Glenn. They're very affable, which tells us that they're very kind and easy to talk to. Now, like I said, Ms. Reba's not great at these videos, and I hope that this helped you. And what I want you to do is, in about 10 minutes, maybe a little longer, depends on how long it takes the video to download, um, I'm going to put on there, I know all of you guys miss playing Kahoot with Miss Freeman, so we can play Kahoot from our houses now. And it is not timed, it's an assessment that you guys can go on. On half of the screen, you will see where it asks you the question, and the other half is where you click. You take your time, it is not timed. So please, please take your time. It's on context clues. I will send you the link on Google Classroom. It'll be below um, where you have the video. You can do it at any time, today, tomorrow, tonight, doesn't matter. So just go on there and it will show me the results. So I know uh, you're gonna take your time and you're gonna get these context clues. It has examples of all of these. So go on there, do your Kahoot, and I will get your results and see how well you did. So, Ms. Freeman loves you. See you next time.